It all started with an old Cub Cadet tractor that my father-in-law gave me. It had been sitting outside by his shed for some time now and it hadn't run years. My granddaughter Lily and I had really been enjoying the train set I got her for Christmas, so I came up with the silly idea of making her a real train. When I told her about it, she got pretty excited. She loves working with her pop out in the shop. So I got the idea of turning the old Cub Cadet into the train. First I needed to get the old tractor running, but that wasn't a problem for me. After that it was time to start building. I started with the shell, using some thin plywood and framed it all in with 3x3 pine. Then it was time for the metal work. I'm sure glad Grandma didn't notice we had one less garbage can outside. Being an old tin knocker, the metal fabrication was a breeze for me. And after a few days, that old tractor actually started looking like a train. Lily was getting quite excited by this point. After it was all together, it was time for coat black paint. I added some wheels and fabricated a makeshift cow catcher, and lo and behold, we had a train. I added some flags, a smoke machine, a light, and for the finishing touch, I made my own train whistle out of copper, brass, and ran by compressed air. Next was to build a passenger car. Who needs that old garden cart anyways? Time to fire it up. Glad I had taken into consideration the height of the train as I might have posed the problem getting it out of the garage. The grandkids sure loved that old train. We ran it around the neighborhood quite a bit that summer. I enjoyed the build, but most importantly was the excitement the grandkids got out of it. Looks like the grandkids want an airplane next. Time to get back to the drawing board. That could be a challenge. But hey, what are Papa's for?